Hi class. So today we're talking polychords, um, how to put one triad or full seventh chord over another triad or full seventh chord. Um, and we do this to express tensions uh, in a chord. So suppose we're doing a tune, it's an E minor, got a one minor seventh chord, and we want the ninth and eleventh. This is one way to write this chord, but we can also use polychords to do that. We can use chord symbols. Um, in this case, I've written an E minor triad. Uh, open voice, and then I have a B minor 7 chord on top of that, and I'd like to have a chord symbol to do that. If I'm in my normal finale mode and I just use my chord symbols and I type B minor 7 and put a slash and put E minor, unfortunately finale doesn't recognize that and always puts it and make it look like a hybrid chord with I just have the root in the bass. So that's not going to work for me. So I have to trick finale, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type B minor 7, and then I'm going to use a symbol that Finale doesn't recognize with chords. For me, I like to use this bracket here. And then I'm going to type E minor on top of that and hit return. And then it says, wait, I can't find that. I don't recognize this. Would you like to add this? And we're like, sure. Um, and then we have a chance to edit this. And if you look right here, this is the edit window. And I can edit each one of these things. Really, the only thing I want to change is that bracket and I want to make it a slash instead so I'm just going to type slash here and then hit OK and all of a sudden Finale is OK with this. Um, now this is also great if I want to uh, in, as opposed to using text or something because of course if I want to copy or paste it, it stays with the chord everything's working really good that way uh, we can see that it's linked to the first beat um, so any kind of shuffling that I do in terms of if I, if I move a chord down or something um, so if I shift my layout, then it moves with it. Um, so this is all really good stuff, what I want to do. Um, so uh, the only problem is, of course, is Finale doesn't remember this. Um, so every single polychord that you write, you're going to have to put this symbol in like that um, to put it in there. So uh, that's pretty it, pretty much it in a nutshell. It's uh, fairly easy to do, and uh, you should have no problem doing these polychords. Um, they're a lot easier than hybrids. All Again, all we're doing is trying to express tensions, 9s, 11s, and 13s that are already in the chord that we available to us. Um, we're just trying to express that as a chord symbol as opposed to writing it as tensions. It's just another way to add available tensions. And you can use chord tones within it. As you see here, I have the 5th and the 7th, already the B and the D that are in the E minor. That's totally fine. There can be duplication of tones. Uh, not a problem, uh, but it, it, it lets piano players and guitar players know how to voice things in a specific way. It's also great when you start to voice things out for horns or strings. You can be thinking about, hey, I can voice a B minor 7 over an E minor triad, um, and that has a really nice sound having two different harmonies going on at once that work together to form one chord. All right, I hope that's good for you.